Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, these are going to be your spirit messages for the sign of cancer. So if you have cancer in your sun, moon, and rise, sorry, I'm there. I bought it. If you have cancer in your sun, moon, and rising, um, these messages may or may not resonate. Take what apply, lead the rest. Um, if these messages do resonate, please like and subscribe. I do accept tips and donations. All that information will be down in the description box. I will stop anytime. Just, I'm just letting you know. Um. Yeah. So let's tap in. Oh yeah, please forgive the noise in the background. I do have kids. I'm trying to show y'all my face, but the lighting is retarded. <laughs> Alright, let's tap in. Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of cancer? Thank you. Ooh, so the lover's card is here. You may be dealing with a Gemini or you may be meeting someone new. Or there may be there may be a um a decision that me that needs to be made when it comes to your relationship or your partner. I feel like, um, okay, so I feel like this may be somebody you wish for, but like, Like she crying like almost every video. I'm sorry, y'all. So, um, I feel like this this may have been somebody you wish for, or okay. Now, for some of you, I feel like there's either a decision that needs to be made between you and your mother. Or someone like, you know, it might be your children's mother. Okay, so this is what I'm hearing. <laughs> you may have tried to build a relationship with either... The mother of your children or your mother, period. You you know, you this is something that you wish for. But for some reason, intuitively, you knew this person wasn't going to change their ways. So it's like now with the five of cups at the bottom, you're regretting either letting this person back in. Or wishing that, you know, wishing and hoping that this person would change. So now I see you either making a decision with this person. Like, making a decision about them. Trying to figure out if you should keep putting effort into it or should you just, like, drop the whole thing. This can also be some someone pregnant. Like someone intuitively intuitively knew they was pregnant. They might have made a wish. They might have wished for this, but I feel like maybe their lover wasn't ready for another child or child period. Can I have one more card, please? 
I have one more card for the sign of Cancer Spirit. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, so someone is... Someone's in their head a lot about this connection. I mean, this can also be a marriage, too. Oof. Someone may be wanting to walk away as well. Like I said, there's a, a decision that someone is, is either trying to make or a plan they're trying to come up with when it comes to this relationship or maybe this pregnancy or maybe it's just something that they wish for, you know, but intuitively they know that it was just like they probably like like their intuition has been telling them or making them feel like, you know, this person is not going to change or this is not going to work out. I mean, you might have had wish for this, but it was all up to the person, you know, for them to want to actually turn over a new leaf with this connection. So maybe that's why, you know, someone feels regretful about it. It's actually going to cause someone to want to walk away. Or maybe you just feel like it's best for you to walk away from this. Because this person literally is not going to change. This situation is not going to get any better. So it's like you're forced to walk away from this connection, period. Cancer spirit. So, okay, I get, I got the progress and not per perfection. Do not compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you learned. So, like I said, you might have wanted to make things right with someone, but it's just like this person is not willing to you know make make amends with you or mend this connection with you i also got spiritual and religious community join with like-minded people for friendship and increase your spiritual growth so i feel like you haven't been listening to your intuition, but your intuition has been telling you something about this connection, but you've just been completely ignoring it. So I feel like you need to reach out for some spiritual help so that you can understand and know when your intuition is trying to tell you something or your higher self. Can I have an energy message for the sign of cancer spirit? What's that? Busy, hold on. I know I seen the car flip over. I ain't crazy. Yes. Okay, Zaba, I'm working. Okay, so we have we have we have put her another one on too because she is wet. Um we have barren fruit. I'm gonna read the summary part of this because Zoom, zoom, zoom. What number is it? Uh, Twelve. It says birthing the new result, the result of hard work, an idea or consistent thought manifesting into form. The relationship between the external world and internal world of feeling, feelings and belief. Okay, so this can also have something like I said in the beginning. This can also have something to do with a pregnancy. So. For some of you, I'm also feeling like you got someone pregnant and you might regret it because you might be in another relationship. But I feel like. Um, I feel like um, someone wished for this. 
So I want to wish for this pregnancy and the other person like, oh no, no, uh, uh, heck no, honey. Can I have another message for the sign of cancer spirit? Yes. Huh? Yes, she do. Look in that green book bag on the outside, in the outside pocket. Okay, it says follow the voice of your soul. So for some of you, like I said, your intuition or your higher self has been sending you messages about whatever this is when it comes to a marriage or a lover situation or some, you know, your mother, the kids of your mother. I mean, the mother of your kids. You know, I'm busy. It's also telling you to trust your higher trust and higher forces. So. Hmm. With that being said, I feel like if you're worried about this connection or you're worried about this baby, I feel like you need to just leave it to God and let him work it out for you or, you know, leave it to your higher power, the universe. You know, let them figure this out for you or let them work this out for you. Don't try to take matters into your own hands because you might end up doing the wrong things or making the wrong decisions, especially if you're pregnant. Or especially if you got someone pregnant. <laughs> but that's all I have for you today, and I hope this resonated with you. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.